Well, thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, we uh, have got a couple of uh, things to, to talk about. So um, if you could kick us off and, and tell us all about your career um, and we can go from there. Yeah, sure. So I've been at Cowgill since 2007. So um, come January, it'll be 17 years. So I've done a fair stint. Um, joined as a trainee uh, on the graduate recruitment scheme back then. Um, qualified after three years, as is, is fairly typical. Um, and then actually moved to our Liverpool office at the time upon qualification, did a year or two there, moved to Manchester, and then came full circle back to Bolton where I trained in the first place. And uh, I've been based here ever since. Amazing. And um, so you mentioned the, the, the three locations there and, and Cowgirls have very much still got a presence in, in all of those areas. Uh, tell me about each office. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's quite an interesting time in terms of Powell Gill's um, sort of office space journey. Um, we've had a full refresh. So essentially in Liverpool, uh, we moved offices just over six months ago now, I think, um, from fairly small premises to, to much larger space on Old Hall Street. So we're in the Cotton Exchange there. That office is, is headed up by Helen Mills, one of the audit partners, and we've got space for circa 20 people there now. Um, Manchester, about six months ago, we moved um, from the bottom of Key Street at the ABC building up to the top end of Key Street in the Annex. So we're right next to Blue's Kitchen. Much larger space, um, much more impressive space, as I'm sure you'll testify, Tash, having visited us a few times there. Absolutely, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, re it's really impressive. And um, that is, at the moment, it's kind of focused on corporate finance, but um, we fully intend to build uh, at least one audit team out of there. Um, and then we've got Bolton, which is uh, where I'm sat presently. Uh, we've been in this office for probably 30 years or so now, but uh, we are finally moving on um, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time. So we're in a much more kind of modern open plan office space just next to the Bolton Wanderers football stadium uh, across the road at Parklands um, and yeah the, the main sort of HQ of the business will be based there uh, going forward. Fantastic sounds like really exciting times and at the moment you are looking to secure some progressive audit managers uh, or, or senior managers um, so tell me about those opportunities. Yeah, so as part of Helen's um, mission to develop the, the Liverpool presence, she is actively recruiting a, a, an audit manager to work alongside herself. Um, and then Bolton and Manchester also need audit managers too. So as I mentioned before, the Manchester opportunity is quite interesting that we're trying to develop at least one audit team from scratch. So that's, um, you know, probably quite interesting to to somebody that might want to put their own stamp on things, develop their own team, um, you know, make their own mark really. So that's that's quite an exciting one. Um, and then in Bolton, just because there's such a, a, a big number of, of auditors based out of there and we're growing so so quickly, um, and we've obviously got this nice new space to work from, there's 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 opportunity there too. Fantastic. And why Cowgirls? I mean there's there's a number of reasons i suppose um i mean just bringing it back to myself uh, <laughs> which is what you, you kind of do mentally isn't it um i've i've been here for 17 years as i mentioned give or take never felt the urge to move on and i think that's because there's always been um an angle for me to develop in my career um one way or another uh, within the practice we we tend to promote from within and for, for those that are um, kind of keen to progress and are, are driven to progress, we develop um, very tailored uh, plans for, for those individuals as well. Um, and it's all driven uh, by the partners alongside our head of people, Lisa Kershaw. And um, we've got a great success rate, I think, of, of converting um, more junior people into to more senior people in a relatively short space of time. Um, we're able to do that through kind of one-to-one -one support, but also I think the, the type of experience you get working at Cowgills with our client base, which is 
highly entrepreneurial, growing clients typically. Um, you, you soon become more than just an auditor. Um, you know, you, you, you get exposed to all sorts of different commercial situations. Um, and actually, going back to my dual role as a relationship partner versus audit partner, I, I would suggest my split of time is now maybe only 20% audit. The rest of it is just getting involved with, with other uh, facets of, of that, that client's um, requirements, really. Um, and my job in that sense is to kind of link together all the, the various specialist departments that, that, that feed into the, the service line for that client. So we do a lot of work with the tax team, as you'd imagine. Um, you know, there might be some corporate restructuring that's required. That's fundamentally tax driven. You know, we work with the CF guys and, and Ben Day on the, on the funding side of things as well. Uh, ben Day is uh, one of our funding people. Um, and um, you know, we, the business recovery team from time to time as well. Um, you know, we, we do need um, advice for our clients in, in all respects, depending on where they're at at that particular point in time. Fantastic. So it sounds like the exposure uh, you are able to offer to, to all of your, your employees across the business is quite varied. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Don't get me wrong, if, if you want to be a pure auditor, uh, then that is very much available. Um, but I think um, a number of people like the variation that we can offer. Um, so yeah, be because of that kind of very growing entrepreneurial client base, um, the, the, the clients kind of um, provide a, a leaning towards that type of um, experience. But also, um, I think it's, it's fair to say the audit team isn't just kind of purely working on audit all the time as well. They tend to get involved with accounts prep, they tend to get involved with corporation tax compliance as well. Um, and that's before you even delve into the, the wider service offerings I was just kind of touching on uh, previously. So um, it's very, very much up to the individual and what they, they want. But if, if people are after that, that mix of experience and, and to become a bit more um, advisor led, I suppose, and uh, and commercially focused, and then we can offer all of that. Fantastic. And to uh, delve in a bit into a bit more detail for the people that you've currently got, um, you've got an excellent training program, haven't you, at Cowgills? Tell me a bit more about that. Yeah. So we launched uh, just over a year ago now the Cowgills Academy. So that's led by Lisa Kershaw, who I touched on before. She's our head of um, people very, very um, <clears throat> focused on, on the trainees. And she, alongside some other colleagues, have, have developed um, this, this new program called the Calgary's Academy. And the idea is um, the cohort come from a mixture of, of university graduates and school leavers, A-level uh, leavers typically. And they, they join around September time and they are essentially locked into <laughs> a meeting room slash classroom for the first three or four months of their um, time with us. Um, but that is a really kind of positive time spent in terms of developing the, the basics of their understanding of accountancy. So uh, we're getting into the debits and credits, T accounts, all that kind of good foundational stuff that I think is quite often missed um, in a lot of training programs these days, people tend to just get thrown in at the deep end without really understanding um, how things sort of hang together underneath. So um, what will happen on the back of that is they'll then be put into the, the various teams um, and they'll, they'll start to get some practical work experience, but armed with that, that foundation. Um, and what we saw first time around was that the, you know, the guys that were coming into the teams actually were valuable from day one and they weren't just um you know requiring full support all the time they're actually able to stand on their own two feet to a certain extent um so that's been that's been really positive um obviously part of that um training program involves going to college as well and, and sitting the professional exams and after the the first year of uh, results um we were absolutely astounded because everybody and we're talking not far off 15 individuals everybody passed everything um, and uh, I think the average 
mark on the ACA program was a low 70%, which is phenomenal. Wow. So we've never seen results like it. So we're really, really positive and excited about that and, and what results that might generate in the next year or two uh, in terms of newly qualified people coming through the practice. Fantastic. So arming uh, the, the, the future managers of, of Cowgirls with some really strong calibre trainees, which is, uh, which is great to hear. And touching on, uh, you know, linking back to your career, you know, you started as a, as a trainee. Um, what progression can, can people expect? And I know that you, you touched on earlier about your uh, development plans. Um, you know, tell me a bit more about what a career could look like for, for someone that's ambitious and, and joining Cowgirls. Yeah, so I mean, I think auditing accounts is the the the, the main area where people uh, develop from. Um, just naturally, that's just the way it works in practice. So once you qualify as a as an auditor within the team or an accountant within the team, if you want to progress, typically you've got two routes. One's within the accounts and audit team, working up the managerial scale, developing into a director role and then ultimately partner if you want to um, that's that's the the route i took um, and uh, i think i've kind of explained how that that works already but another option for people coming through is um, because we've got the full service offering is to diversify a little bit so obviously i don't want to lose good audit staff to to other uh, departments but it does happen from time to time and we actually um, we do encourage it because we would much sooner lose somebody to uh, another department than another firm, of course. So uh, we've got a really strong track record of developing auditors into corporate finance people uh, and also um, to some extent tax. Um, so, you know, a good a good proportion of the corporate finance team is, is made up of former auditors uh, and that's all the way uh, through the ranks. So some of the, the corporate finance executives that have recently joined the team are fairly newly qualified auditors from from the uh, the Cowgills audit team. Um, but equally all the way up to partner level, we, we have ex Cowgills auditors that are now corporate finance partners. So, um, you know, the, there's a, a very kind of strong track record in that sense. And then, as I say, in the tax team as well, uh, just uh, to name a name, George Daubney, he uh, he came through uh, the ranks as a, a, an audit senior, decided he wanted to uh, move into tax, did his CTA exams and has progressed through the ranks in the tax department and um, a couple of years back was uh, named a new tax partner. So he's, he's done really well. Fantastic. And as a firm, you've just appointed your 23rd partner. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So Nilesh. Um, who I share an office with. He joined as uh, an audit director four or five years ago. Um, he was handed a development plan um, with very sort of uh, clear targets to achieve over that period of time uh, as he wished to kind of make that step to, to partner. And um, yeah, he ticked all his, his boxes off and uh, made the step a, a few months ago. Exciting. And um... I suppose final final point for, for me and, and what people always want to hear about, um, how would you describe, I know we've touched on it already uh, in, in areas, but the, the culture of Cowgirls, what's it like to work there on a on a day to day to day basis? Um, well, I think I think we're generally a very, very approachable bunch, very sociable. Um, you know, the, the partners aren't locked away in a in a in an office that, you know, they're not kind of keeping themselves to themselves. We're very, very open and encourage uh, members of the team to come in and have a chat. Equally, the, the partners tend to walk around the office and um, don't just kind of focus on their own departments, you know, very, very visible um, across the whole business uh, and the various different locations as well. Um, so as an example, Nilesh and I were, were over in the Manchester office together on, on Friday with Stuart as well. So we do tend to, to travel around and and try and uh, you know keep the, the lines of dialogue open with the, the teams across the business.